Did you ever need work done online but didn't have the time or resources? Chances are you have heard of Freelancer.com. There are over 40 million users in over 247 countries on Freelancer.com and growing. There are thousands of job postings and ready to hire freelancers that can be scraped using Parsa, our free visual web scraper. In this video, we'll focus on scraping freelancers, but you can use the same method to scrape job postings off Freelancer as well. To follow along with this tutorial, we suggest you first download and sign up to Parsa for free. The link is in the description below. Let's begin scraping freelancers. Firstly, install Parsa up on your Mac, PC, or Linux device. Device. You will need to first register and log into Parsup to begin scraping. Once the application loads, click New Project to start your freelancer scraping project. You will be asked to enter the URL you wish to scrape. For this tutorial, we'll scrape WordPress developers with this URL. You should now see the webpage load on the embedded browser, as well as the first 10 freelancers on the right hand side. Making your first selection. Firstly, click the first freelancer's username and it should turn green. Then click the next freelancer's username, which is yellow. Now, all the 10 freelancers on the page should now be selected. Rename this selection on the left pane to Freelancer. You should now see the freelancer's usernames and URLs in the live preview below. Extracting more freelancer data. Now that we have every single freelancer on the page, it is time to use the relative select command to extract additional data. Firstly, click the plus button next to the freelancer selection you made earlier. Choose relative select and click the first freelancer's username. Move the cursor to the freelancer's hourly rate and you should see an arrow. Click the hourly rate and you should see the freelancer's pointing an arrow to their rates. Rename the selection to rate on the left hand side of Parsa. Repeat this relative selection process for other data, such as the freelancer skills. Scraping freelancer ratings. Ideally, the steps for scraping freelancer ratings should be the same as the steps before. However, the selection is trickier to extract. Follow these steps to extract the ratings. Begin by making a relative select on your freelancer entry using the plus icon. Click the first freelancer and then the rating number next to the stars. Rename the selection to rating. The live data will currently be empty. Expand the rating selection and click Extract Rating Selection. Next to the extract, you should see a drop down. Select the Data Star Rating Attribute. Finally, in the live preview below, you should see the freelancer's rating out of 5. Scraping more freelancers using pagination. You might think you're ready to scrape. However, if begun, you would only scrape the first 10 freelancers. To scrape freelancers on the next set of pages, you need to add pagination to your project. Here's how to add pagination. On the page entry, click the plus icon and click Select. Hover over the next page navigation arrow at the bottom of the page. You might notice the arrow cannot be selected. Hold down the controller command button and press 2 on your keyboard to zoom into the container. Click the next page button now and the arrow should be now selected. Rename the selection on the left pane to pagination. Click the expand button next to your pagination selection and delete the extractions since it will be adding unnecessary data to your table. Click the plus button icon next to your pagination selection and choose click. On the pop-up, choose yes as the selection is a next page button. You will not be asked how many other pages you want to scrape. If you choose zero, all the pages available will be scraped. In our example, we chose to repeat the scrape two more times, which means three pages in total. Running into blocks. With our example of three pages in total, we did not run into any issues with blocks or empty results, which is good news. If you do run into blocks, you will need to enable IP rotations in the settings. This is a paid feature of Parsa but in the case of freelancer.com, it seems like it's not needed. Note that there are over 2,000 pages to scrape for WordPress freelancers alone. If this is your goal, you may or may not need to sign up for the paid plan of Parsup to bypass blocks. Starting your freelancer.com scraping. Great job setting up your project. You're now ready to start scraping on Parsup servers. To begin scraping, click the green Get Data button on the left or in the Settings dropdown. You will now be able to test, run, or schedule your scrape. In our case, we chose to run the scraping process a single time. After after a brief moment, your data will be ready to save as a CSV for your spreadsheets or JSON for web applications. Awesome job! We hope this video helped you scrape freelancer.com and the vast amount of data available on their website. You can use these same steps to scrape jobs and projects on freelancer.com as well. If you have any questions about web scraping or have any issues on Parsub, feel free to contact us or send us a chat message. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Happy scraping!